Hello, this is Rob. I'm here in my garage, uh, a little under the weather, but uh, here to do a quick unboxing of the UDRAW game tablet, which I picked up um, right before Christmas. And I know you're wondering, um, how much did you pay for this? Uh, I paid $29.99, and it was originally $79.99. These were at GameStop, and they were closed, and I'm out. This is the uh, 360 version. And part of the reason I got it is because uh, I was hoping that there might be some PC drivers for the uh, 360 adapter that I have for the uh, computer for Windows. So we'll see if that actually happens. But if, even if it doesn't, this is the version that comes with, um, it doesn't come with games like the Wii one did. There's this um, Marvel game you can see here. There's a Pictionary you can see here. Um, this version comes with something called UDRAW Studio instant artist and it's basically like a drawing program and has some little built-in games um, but let's get to it here before my voice gives out totally take a look at this thing uh, here is the software which like I said it isn't a game it is more of just like an art program I'm sure it has some sort of tutorials or drawing lessons or something, little little drawing related games. Um, so that's UDRAW Studio Instant Artist for the 360. I wonder if this has achievements. That would be weird. The Ultimate Art Creation Experience. We'll see about that. Uh, so, that's cool. And here is the thing, which I think is a pretty good deal for 30 bucks. Uh, it'll be fun to mess around with anyway. This was on the Wii first, and then they made the um, 360 and PS3 versions. And I guess nobody bought them, so they've been on clearance everywhere. Um, but I think they're gone now, so I got it. Um, okay, here's the tablet. Somewhere. Come on. Yes. There. Here, Very shiny. So it's got um, regular <laughs> Xbox control, home button, start select, D-pad, face buttons, um, battery compartment, and then this the pen, which has a little keeper there, a little grip, and the um, the tip on the pen is can't really see it, but it's kind of goes in a little bit there, and then this pressure sensitive pad. Which is, um, I guess it's probably a combination between where it is on the pad and how far this tip is pressed in as to, as to the pressure that you're putting on it. Um, so basically I think it's the equivalent of like a really cheap drawing pad on the PC. Like super cheap. But it actually, well, that's a microphone connection for the headset. I wonder if you can play shooters or something else with this. I'm also kind of interested to see if I can play any other kinds of games with this thing. Um, what kind of craziness that might might be. Or can I draw with other controllers? Like, can you draw with Rock Band drums somehow? Or can I play Forza with this <laughs> somehow? It actually has some kind of motion control in it. I don't know why it would do that, but it does. So anyway, uh, more on this later, but for right now this is the hardware. It's not bad, especially for 30 bucks. I don't know if eighty dollars is the right price, but uh, I feel like I, I feel like I got a good deal. I'll let you know. My voice is quitting. Talk to you later.